Hey, what's up? Uh, a couple days ago, I released a video talking about thousands of free assets, um, terabytes of free assets that I've sort of found along the way, my journey on Real. One of the items I touched on was Actor Core from Reillusion. Uh, it has to deal with uh, free animations that uh, you can get from that studio. So um, I did have a question in the comments around how to get them working in Unreal Engine. So I thought I'd just uh, run through a quick video of how to do that. So uh, first off, if you're coming to this channel for other reasons, we're talking about Actor Core. Uh, and I just Googled it there, just Googled Actor Core, and you should find yourself on this screen. There is a link at the top here, free content. If you scroll down to get started, you'll find yourself on this screen. You may have to you know, log in and uh, create an account, it's all good. Um, here's a bunch of the free animations that come with Actor Core as of right now. It's um, September, 2021, or just about to be September, 2021. So who knows when you're watching this content could have expired or whatnot. Anyways, um, that's all in there. The other thing is, whoops, how did I do that? Um, the other thing is, uh, I think here in monthly special, yeah, in monthly special, there's a couple of sale items, but uh, in specific, there are 48 uh, iconic hero motions that are available for free. Uh, they released these uh, in, uh, for the, in sorry, in tandem with the, Unreal Engine uh, Mega Jam, Game Jam that's ongoing. But you can get all these cool free animations. So what you wanna do is you wanna download this motion pack. Again, you'll probably have to create an account, no big deal. Um, and then once you've done that, you should end up with a folder that looks something like this. Actor Core, Iconic Hero, and then you're gonna have Avatar and Motion. We will just create or open up a um, new Unreal project so I can demo this to you. Uh, yeah, let's just do a brand new one. Blank. Actually, you know what? We're going to do the um, third person. Makes sense so we can target after. Um, all those default settings are fine. Uh, I'm going to put it, that in the same folder. I'll just gonna, for me, I'll just call this blank too. I'm going to delete these after anyway. So there we go. Create the project. That pops up. Uh, is that the right one? Yeah, there it is. What's this all about? Okay, cool. Uh, so we got the project open in your folder you have the avatar and the actual motions uh, you won't be able to import the motions without a skeleton so these motions have a unique skeleton that are tied to motion dummy mail so we're going to drag that in window pops up um, you don't want this populated you want it to create its own skeleton so you just hit import all Cool. Uh, with that like that, you can just leave this as is, but you can see this doesn't have the right textures on. So they do supply the textures. So if you care, um, this is a totally uh, a step that you don't have to take, just an optional step. But drag in the textures they provide you. And oops. in here, they give you uh, a diffuse and a normal. I'm just gonna take the PNG. You could also take the JPEG, I'm sure. Boom, drag those in. Okay, so uh, what you wanna do is you wanna open up the material associated to the dummy skeleton, which happens to be motion dummy mail. I'm gonna pop that open. I'm just gonna drag it and put it next to that one. Um, you wanna pull the uh, outputs over there. You can select this parameter and just delete it. And then what you can do is you can select all of these by just hitting uh, control and left mouse click. And then you can drag these up to the material, drop them in here, and then we'll sort these out. So the diffuse is what goes into base color. Normal goes into, you guessed it, normal. 
And then um, this is actually a combined uh, material. Uh, you can tell just because it's got some funky colors. Uh, but basically, it's the um, material that's going to satisfy metallic, specular, and roughness. So I believe, if I remember correctly, blue goes to metallic, green goes specular, and uh, whoops, red goes into roughness. And then if we uh, apply, save that bad boy, uh, you'll notice that our, whoops, on the physics asset, our uh, dummy now has um, some proper texture. So again, uh, completely optional that step, but uh, for completeness, why don't we just do it? Okay, uh, I'm just selecting all the files and I'm hitting Control S to save them. And then now we're in a spot where we can bring in your animations. So if we go back to our actor core downloaded file and we go up to uh, motions, we can go in here and we can pick any of these motions. So they've got a uh, basically a 3D object file. I assume it's an FBX um, and a JSON file. We only care about the FBX file or whatever the heck kind of file that is. Let's just see. Does it tell us? Uh, yeah, FBX file. That's what we care about. Um, if you're not sure what's what, you can always uh, jump back to your screen here and you can kind of look at all the animations and then pick the one that you want. I think we will pick something cool like, how about, I guess a cool Katana one. Yeah, how about this uh, Katana Bushido? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's grab that one. Uh, so you go down here to Katana Bushido. Drop that in. And this one's actually going to take a bit, so I'll skip forward um, the video a little bit after we get set up. But when you drag that in, you want to make sure that it's uh, targeting to the uh, motion dummy skeleton that you already brought in, which it happens to be. Um, and then uh, you can leave all the default settings and you can just hit import all. It's going to start loading. I do not know why these take so long. Um, a lot of other animations you can just drag in in a couple of seconds. So for whatever reason, uh, maybe it, you know, it's, it's telling us it's got a total key, total keys of 12,000. Maybe it's got more keys than any other animation. And, that's why it takes so long. I don't know. But anyways, it's going to take a good five to ten minutes. So stop the video and I'll, uh, uh, I'll catch you in a few. All right. So that uh, finished importing. If you uh, shift click control S to save those. If you double click on the animation, you'll see that came through pretty clean. I'm just holding alt and moving my mouse around and you can just get different angles. Cool. OK, so there's your animation in. Uh, so that's a start. You also notice there's another animation uh, that came with it. Um, one thing to take a note of is it's in the A pose. And the other thing is it says UA, UE4 at the bottom, so AUE4. That's telling me that um, probably to get it over to UE4, it needs to be in the A pose versus um, the skeleton and the dummy uh, that have come across in the T pose. So just keep note of that. Um, I just kind of noticed that right away. I thought it was weird that two animations were in, but I think there's a reason why that one's there. Just a little bit of experience in doing this before. Um, okay, uh, what do we want to do? Uh, now that you have it on this guy, what you want to do is you want to get it over to the Unreal um, skeleton. So if you remember when I created this project, I added the third person, uh, the third person pack. This is why, because I wanted the uh, I wanted the mannequin and I wanted the third person animations and all that sort of stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm navigating to the Unreal mannequin. You can see it's in the A pose. So um, we're going to need our skeleton, our other skeleton in the A pose. So that's all lining up. Um, I'm just looking at show retargeting options. So those are all correct there. That's cool. Uh, in uh, if we click the skeleton and up at the retarget manager, we want to make sure that this is all set up right. So we need to see that there's some sources in here, and there are. We need to make sure that the rig uh, has a humanoid rig, which it does, and that, that'll be fine. Um, and then we want to make sure there's a preview mesh on the skeleton, which there is. So we're just going to save all that. So that's our UE4 mannequin all set up for retargeting. Uh, we want to get back to, sorry, I'm just going to drag these and put them next to my main folder, then I can 
cycle between these. Uh, we want to get back to the main section here in the content um, browser where we've been importing everything. I thought it was in the thought it was in the content browser. Oh, sorry, it was in third person blueprint. I probably should have created a new folder. My bad. Anyways, uh, we're doing this in the third person blueprint, I guess. Um, so that's fine. Cool. So then what we want to do is we want to set up this mannequin or sorry, this skeleton to retarget to this skeleton. Um, so we'll open that up and we'll do some of the same things in the retarget manager. Um, we will add new, put that dummy in there. And now we've got a source. We want to select the rig. We want it to be humanoid. Um, I've already done this. So I went through and made sure that these all match and they do. Um, so I'm confident there. You'll notice uh, this dude is in the T pose. I spoke to that already. Um, we got to fix that and um, it needs a preview mesh. So if we hit apply to asset, then that's all set up. If you don't set that up, then when you're retargeting, there won't be a preview in the window. I'll speak to that in a sec, but um, just know that's why we need that. Um, so how are we going to get this guy into the right A pose? Well, I assume that that animation asset that they sent over with it is what we use to retarget. So if I went to, if I went up here to animation and preview controller, and I went uh, use a specific animation. I don't think reference pose will do anything. Yeah, use specific animation. And then I look for that A pose. Yeah, A U E four. You'll see that it automatically sticks our mannequin in the A pose. So what we want to do is if we click this button and hit view pose, you'll actually see the actual pose of the character is the T pose still. So what we want to do is we want to with the A pose on, we want to hit modify, use current pose. And then when I hit hide pose and view pose, you'll notice it doesn't change. So now we've put this mannequin in the A pose, which ma matches the pose, the A pose of this mannequin. So now we should be set up to retarget from one to the other. So what we do is we go back to the animation that you imported, we right click on it, we retarget animation assets, duplicate anim assets and retarget. We should see a preview mesh from our source, <coughs> which is our reillusion mannequin. We're going to go to the UE4 mannequin, and I'm just going to stick a prefix on here, real underscore, so that we can tell the difference between our animations. Um, actually, you know what? On this one, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to leave it as real underscore. And then you can target where you want it to go. Uh, in this case, we have everything in our third person blueprint because I'm dumb and I just put it there by accident. And then we're just going to hit retarget. And now you're going to see that this is now retargeted to the UE4 skeleton. Cool. Okay. So just to prove that that's working, it's on that skeleton. Um, I'm just going to pull another, another asset down. I'm going to pull down the scanned 3D people pack. So if you just search for this in the marketplace, you'll find it. Um, it's free. We're going to add it to the project that we just made, which is blank two, I think. Da -da 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 -da. There it is. Add to project. Wait for that to download. Aja. He's done. And now we should see that there's scanned 3D pack people pack in here. If I go to, I don't know, one of these people. Yeah, her. Let's use her. If I, go, if I go to her, double click on her, go to her skeleton. She is on the UE4 mannequin skeleton, but there's there's two UE4 mannequin skeletons in this project now. There's the one that we got from the third uh, person uh, blueprint, and there's this one. <laughs> in all honesty, I probably should have just brought this in to start and then retargeted directly to this, but oh well. Um, it is what it is. So I'm just going to set this one up. For the retargeting manager, I'll just put this character. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Uh, humanoid rig is already there. The right pose is there, and the preview mesh is on. So I'm just going to save that. And then this retargeting is actually straightforward. We just go back to uh, third person blueprint. We are going to retarget our UE4 version of this, the real underscore. And we're going to retarget that to the other UE4 mannequin, right? So from one UE4 mannequin to the other prefix, and we'll just call this 3D, 3DP underscore 
Um, I'm going to put it in the same folder just so that we know where it is. And then let's just retarget. Boom. Okay. So now you've got your original one that came in. You've got your 3D person, 3D people one. And you've got the, the one that's on the original third person uh, mannequin. And they're all the same. Okay. Um, and then we just want to make sure that that's working on uh, the girl. So I still have her open up here. I can now go to preview animation and I can pull out this 3DP real katana and watch this. In her high heels, just killing it. Kind of reminds me of, um, uh, what was that? Kill Bill? Kill Bill, wasn't she wearing like high heels and doing some ninja stuff? I haven't seen that in forever. But anyways, that's what I thought of immediately. So, looks pretty good. That's it. We're done. Look at this girl, just slicing stuff up with her katana. She's gonna split her pants. Alright, hope that was helpful. See you around.